What discussion did you have in respect of the Sorrento, sir? Um, he decided to... Uh, we accepted um, 1,500 quid for the Audi and 3,500 for the um, Kia. Um, he then asked me regarding the warranty. Did I want to take out warranty, the three months warranty? I said... Excuse me, George. Shh. You'll have a chance to respond. I need to hear what he says. Okay. That's his evidence. Yeah. Did you take it for a test drive? Yes, I did, yeah. Before you negotiated on price? Sorry, I, I, we took it for a test drive. We was talking about the price and I still took it for a test drive. Then we did a solid deal. Understood. The car sounded fine to me. It was a, it was a sunny, dry day. If it was a wet day or anything like that, it would have kicked in automatic 4x4, because it's automatic 4x4. Did you put the vehicle into 4x4? It wouldn't have worked because of it being so dry. You need to be on wet uh, mud, ice now to know that it's working. I now turn to Steve. Yes, that was the contract. I'll pay you £3,495, plus I'll throw in my Audi, we've agreed a price. Yes, you get the car. Agreed? Yes, George. Was there anything else that was said? Basically, he didn't want to pay the screen price. Um, we could offer offered him a three months warranty, uh, the pre-delivery checks, and a full up-to-date MOT, which we offer on all our vehicles. Let's take them one by one. You said that there was an 82-point check. Yeah. You didn't do that. We didn't know because he didn't want the service. What about the other thing? A the, 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 the warranty. He didn't want. He didn't, he didn't want no, to. Didn't was, want the service. Didn't even <laughs> Talking. I'm asking him. Sorry, You'll have a chance to respond. Three month, three month warranty and the 82 point check. Yep, you say that checked. you offer that. You also reminded me before that you offer a three month warranty because it's a requirement in law. Yes. If it's a requirement in law, why didn't you extend him that three month warranty? Because he didn't want to pay the price. Um, he wanted a, a lower price and I explained to him the only, the only way we can um, do it cheaper if, if you take it as spares and repairs. I made him fully aware what it meant. Uh, we're not liable for any damages replacement parts or anything like that and as you can see George he signed it right here you signed a document that's, you've that's got a document it. signed now this is very important and where we get into I have to tell you very challenging legal territory you used some language there yeah so let me summarize this gentleman got a very big discount yeah. first of all roughly what sort of discount are we talking off the sticker price it was about £1,000. About £1,000. And so, consequently, whereas all of your other vehicles, you'd do your checks yep. and you'd give the warranty, yep. you were so concerned, you said, all right, I'll give you it for less, yeah. but you're going to buy it as, what were those two words? Spares and repairs, George. Spares and repairs? Yes, George. What's spares and repairs? It's, um, it's basically a vehicle to say that you're, you're taking it without any response, or we're taking it with, with, with full responsibility. Um, so it's not down to the dealer. It's the, only, it's the only way I would actually sell a vehicle without warranty. In other words, you gave him a legal disclaimer to say, fine, yeah. you can have £1,000 off, yeah. but if anything goes wrong, it's your fault. That's right, Judge. Now, I'm looking at this document. Yeah. Sir, did you sign this document? I did, Judge, yeah. Did you read it fully? No, Judge, I didn't. Where? I'm told by Steve that he made it perfectly clear that you were buying this vehicle for spares and repairs. No. No, that's not the truth. Why did you sign this document? Have you got a copy? He said to me... Have you got a copy? Yes, I have, Judge, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, he said to me, you're signing this to opt out of your three-month warranty, which was fine. I haven't got a problem with that at all. Look at the top of that document. Even if you didn't read the small print, what does it say in big at the top? Sale of unroadworthy motor vehicle. Sale of unroadworthy motor vehicle. yeah. yeah. You signed that document. Yeah, yeah. There's no way a sensible man like you, and you are very sensible, you've articulated your case yeah. on paper excellently without a lawyer. Yeah, I, I just... It was just, you know, it was a mistake. I signed it. I didn't really read it. Even I know it says... Unroadworthy! Yeah, yeah. This is not a wheelbarrow, sir. Yeah. Correct? Correct, yeah. <laughs> Well, it says a number of things. I'm going to put it down for a second, because all I need to know, very quickly from you, was what happened next. Afterwards, I took the car home. A week later, took it in for the full service. Uh, while it was up on the ramps, the mechanic says, did you know the front prop shaft was missing? Can I just show you the front prop shaft that was missing was that? You bought your prop shaft to court? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's one I've not just seen said, before, sir. Um, the front prop shaft was missing. Um, 
So I phoned Steve straight away. He said, I need to speak to the boss of the company. Jack, who's the boss of the company? Uh, Stephen, Judge. Stephen's the boss? Yes, Judge. Are there any other bosses? No, Judge. Are there any other people who work in that company who are perhaps called Mr or Mrs Boss? <laughs> no, Judge. The reason why I didn't tell um, Ian that I was in charge of the decision is because I was, I was scared of what he was capable of. I didn't, I didn't know what, what, what his intentions were. He wanted a new car! What did you think he was going to do? Come to your house and leave a dead horse in it? I don't know if you've seen these messages, um, George, but they're quite, th they're quite threatening. Well, to me, they are, anyway. And um, it just shows what sort of... Sir, I asked a simple question. Yeah. There's a simple answer to a simple question, which was, when you said, all right, I'll talk to the boss... Yeah. Were you telling the truth? No, George. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judgment of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.